Hi there and uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, I'm going to talk and explain how I succeed to install um, an alternative uh, operating system on a smartphone. Uh, so you have different alternatives to Android uh, that you can find over here. So that really depends, in fact, probably of the year of the uh, different smartphones, so on and so forth. Uh, the one that I choose is a well-known one, which is a Replicant. And the reason is that a Replicant is the only one uh, which has uh, still uh, a distribution available for uh, the smartphone that I introduce within this uh, video, which is the Nexus S9023. So it's a really old, uh, really old smartphone and Replicant is the only one who still have uh, an unmaintained version, but at least which still have a version for it. So. Um, I went on the Replicant uh, website. I looked uh, for the uh, let's say the characteristics of my uh, of my smartphone. As they are saying here, they are unmaintained, so it means that the distribution is not secured at all. Uh, but I think it's good in order to show you uh, what it is about. So this is the the smartphone that I um, in fact that I repaired and that I now have. And um, when you look through this documentation of Replicant, they are telling you how you can install uh, how you can install it. So you just need to click over here. And then they are explaining you the different, um, different steps that you need to go through. So first of all, they are telling you, okay, uh, as a prerequisite, you need to have a GNU Linux operating system running on your computer. Okay, not on your smartphone, but on your computer, as it, it will be the, the place on where you will execute and transfer the file. Um, then you will need to connect to your smartphone in through a USB uh, cable, okay? And then uh, you need to know how to make uh, some uh, command lines uh, execution code. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is that you need to download the files for the installation. So here the documentation of Replicant is really uh, well done. So you just need to double click over here, open the tab, and uh, here so you get the, oops, you get the uh, the documentation and then here uh, they are giving you uh, the replicant uh, images so uh, in my case it was the um, 80, uh, 20 so 90 20 so i'm just going down uh to do 20 and i just took yeah, I just took in fact this file, this file, this file, and this file, and this file. So you need the five of them. So you can um, download them uh, with a wget, or you're gonna give you something like this. Okay, so you'll get uh, in fact your five files. In my case, um, I couldn't find the key, so a friend of mine explained me uh, how to get the public key uh, for it. And uh, the public key is uh, what you will need at the step after. So here they are saying, okay, make sure you have added the replicant release key. But in my case, as the distribution is really old, this link is not working anymore. So a friend of mine gave me the key. And then thanks to the key, I was able uh, to verify the file and know that the file that I downloaded were the right one. So if you go over here, they're going to give you uh, the information but the information that they are asking you for example here to just do the gpg uh, recovery key uh, won't work so you need actually to import your uh, your own key that you will find on the internet and then thanks to it you can double check uh, that those files are working uh, when it's down you need to execute this given line in order to tell you if it's correct or not and then um, once you are doing so uh, you need to go to the next part, which is about installing Fastboot. So installing Fastboot is really straightforward. You just need to go uh, over here. And then uh, you just need to execute this uh, given line if you are on Ubuntu, such as myself. And then it's going to install it uh, right away. Um, and then this is the next part uh, that I'm going to show you uh, directly with the smartphone. Okay, so uh, the next part is about um, using the storage of the device and uh, copying the file. So it's um, really straightforward. You just need to uh, uh, use the ADB uh, tool to do it. So you need to connect uh, your, uh, your device and ensure that Android is working. Then you connect the USB cable. Then the screen of your smart sc uh, smartphone will ask you to enable the USB um, storage. So you say yes. 
and then uh, you mount it and then you copy uh, the file uh, at the origin of the um, of the of the smartphone so let so to say the first screen which will appear and then you unmount the mass storage on the computer and you do the same thing on the device and then uh, you are uh, prepared for the next step okay so uh, what i'm going to try to do right now is to go for uh, the given uh, instruction that we can uh, that we can see here which are uh, the next step is to install um, the installation process to prepare the device uh, for the fast boot mode. So we're gonna go through this, make sure that the device is completely turned off and the USB cable is disconnected from the device. Okay, start the device by holding the following key combination. So I'm gonna just show you uh, the device. So this is the device and uh, I'm gonna now in fact, uh, press, so they say, start the device by holding the following key, so volume up. So volume up is over here, and then the power is over here. So um, hold the key commit until the device show fast boot, fast boot mode, okay. So let's see. Okay, I didn't even know that it was possible, so now I get the fast boot mode. So connect the USB cable to both the computer and the device. So let's see how it goes. So I'm just going to plug Oops, computer like this. Okay, and then it's asking me all the key combination. Okay, all the key combination to the device show the fast boot mode. Uh, connect the USB cable to a computer and device. Okay, unlocking the bootloader. So uh, that's the next instruction is this one unlock uh, the bootloader so i need to execute this in my terminal if that's the first time you are flashing your operating system you will have to unlock it first okay so that's what i need to do so i go over here and then i just unlock it will it work we don't know Okay, so I got a message. Uh, I can show it to you. I just got the following message. Unlock bootloader. If you unlock the bootloader, you will be able to install a custom operating system. So, yes. Oh, and I guess what I need to do is that I need to play with those. Okay, so yes. And I guess I need to push on the power. Oops. I probably, um, yeah, so I pushed it twice. Um, so let's move back now on my on my screen. Okay, so am I back on my screen? Yes, I'm back on my screen. So uh, this has been done. Confirm that you want to unlock the device using the volume key and power key to select. Okay, installing the image. So now uh, that both the computer and the device are set up, it's time to actually install the image on the device. Install the recovery image to the device. So I should run this part. Okay, so let's go for this part. Fast boot and recovery image. Okay, so and recovery. Uh, that's not good. Um, Recovery image. Okay. Cannot find it. Okay, finished. Uh, select the recovery mode uh, using the volume keys to navigate and power key to select. So I guess I need uh, to go back um, over here on my mobile. Okay, and let's um, let's choose the side the um, 
the recovery mode. Okay, so how can I get it? Okay, so here I'm on the recovery mode, seems that it's the green one. I just need to push on the button power. Okay. So now it should go into... Um, it should boot back, select the recovery mode, make sure that the device reboots to recovery, select install the zip. So. Do we have something named install zips? Yes, we have something named install zip. Um, prior key to select, so I'm pushing key. Then it's asking me either you want to use the storage of the device. Yes, I want. So select install zip from SD card. Select zip from SD card. Okay, so I pressed it once. Select the system zip replicant. Mm. Okay, not good. Mm. I'm gonna go back. Okay, so I want to install the zip. Choose the zip from SD card, install zip from side load, apply. Okay. Okay, so I guess that I cannot use the SD card probably because there's no SD card. So I will have to use the other method, uh, which is using ADB sideload probably. Select install zip from sideload. Okay, install zip from sideload. Uh, okay, then, so here nothing's gonna happen. Back to the host computer, load the system zip with sideload. So, uh, if I go back on my on my computer screen, so here I am back. Um, so here they saying me to use this. Okay, so ADB something. Press for that zip. Okay. So uh, I'll go for this, and that should be the replicant. Okay. Make sure that the file is being transferred. Okay. Okay, so it has been transferred. Um, so completing the installation. So I need to go back on my... So here it's telling me, uh, make sure the file is being transferred. I think that's been the case. Uh, select go back. So I select, oops, I select to go back. Select go back uh, to general by you select web data factory reset. So that's the one. So yes, wipe all users data. Okay, and now I should uh, select the reboot system now. Wow, it seems good. Uh, seems that actually a replicant is now installed on my smartphone. So a new operating system.
so good to write probably that uh, takes some time in order to load the operating system Make yourself at home, you can put your favorite apps here. Okay, great. And that's it. So um, I have now my uh, brand new operating system. So no Google on it. And, um, and that's it. That's what I wanted to show you today. Thanks for watching.